Hello everyone. Welcome to our lesson 7 on particulate nature of matter. This will be our last lesson so that we can also push other topics. Now today we are going to look at rates of diffusion. Rates of diffusion. That means we are at the core of our experiment, we are focusing at least on two gases because this is about comparison. That's why we are talking about the word rate of diffusion. We want to investigate. We want to investigate the rate of diffusion of ammonia gas and hydrochloric acid gas. So there are a few things that we need to have. A long tube, okay, with the open end. We need two corks. We also need cotton wool. We need separately two bottles of concentrated hydraulic acid solution and concentrated ammonia solution. Okay? And of course, we have the stands here and there to help us clamp the long YouTube. Okay? So, the setup is as what I have shown on the, on the board. That is our setup. We shall call side A the side with a um, concentrated ammonia solution. It is that solution that will give us gas, ammonia gas. Then on side B, we shall have soaked okay this is cotton wool soaked in concentrated hydrochloric acid so that cotton wool in it it has soaked concentrated hydrochloric acid solution and on side a the cotton wool is soaked in ammonia solution. So the whole setup is like this. Remember, we want to see the diffusion. This diffusion is by comparison of how fast or how slow a particular gas can spread out. The spreading movement, is it fast or is it slow? That is the core of this lesson, comparing the spreading movement. Let us now focus our camera on observation. Let us focus our camera now on observation down here. Okay, we want to focus on observation until everything is seen. Yes. So what will you observe? There will you will see a white deposit. Where is it formed? It is formed the side nearer B. I take you up a bit for a second. There. Okay? So we shall observe a white deposit. Because my board is white, I have drawn it in blue to give you a distinction. This is what you will see. Remember, you can be asked, this experiment was carried out. Briefly explain the observation. 
So a white deposit is seen. Then you have to give us the relative position where it is formed. So it is formed towards B. So if I mark this as the center, if I mark that dot as my center, you can see it is towards B. So that is what you will see and that is what you will explain. I'm able to explain what is seen and its relative position. Back. Conclusion. Both gases diffused. On what account do we say this? Because we can see the uh, uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid solution formed a gas which moved. Okay? The concentrated hydrochloric acid solution. Acid solution. Okay? This formed gas and that gas moved. You can compare now. We can compare this and this. That is the movement. You can compare. It did not form exactly here. So what does it suggest? The gas from side B moved. The gas from side A also moved. So that is the gas movement. This is gas. Even this is the gas. So what do we say? Both gases were able to spread out. The fact that it is forming a white deposit nearer B suggests and confirms that the spreading movement of ammonia gas is faster than the spreading movement of concentrated hydrochloric acid gas. Then we have to dig deeper. Why was this one slow? It is because the gas from side B is denser than the gas from side A. The density of Hydrochloric acid gas is higher than the density of ammonia gas. When a particle is denser, its movement is slow. It's just like comparing somebody obese to move with somebody who is slim. The slim person will tend to move fast, yet the person with obesity is relatively slower. You can also try to roll a drum and a 20 liter uh, can. The drum, when you are rolling it, it will be slow. But the one which has a 20 liter, a 20 liter can, you can roll it easily, easily. Okay? It is easier to roll a tennis ball compared to a hockey ball. Even though they tend to have the same size. Why? Because a hockey ball is massive. It has a higher density compared to 
a lawn tennis ball. So a lawn tennis ball can roll very fast compared to a hockey ball density. Since both gases are in continuous random motion, if temperature is increased, then the one which move fast will even move faster. So you must comprehend about three things in the conclusion. In the conclusion, we need to comprehend that both gases moved. They spread out. Both gases spread out. But one spread out faster than the other. The ammonia gas spread out faster than hydrochloric acid gas, looking at the distances they covered. Okay? A vehicle with high speed covers longer distance within the same time compared to a slow vehicle. Okay? Then, from that difference in the distance covered, we are able to conclude that ammonia gas has a higher speed in brackets eh? in, or in quotes. It has a higher rate of diffusion. A vehicle with higher speed covers a longer distance compared to a slow one within the same time. Okay? What happens? The gas which is massive or which has a higher density moves slowly. Okay? A trailer moves slowly. It carries a very big load. A small car moves very fast. What happens when the temperature is increased? The molecules that are lighter will make faster movement compared to the massive ones. So that is what I've tried to conclude here. And I think you are now at home with the rates of diffusion. Diffusion in solid is very rare asked. So you can concentrate on diffusion in gases and diffusion in liquids. You must know uh, how to outline this question can also come in the form of describe a simple experiment describe a simple experiment to verify that gases diffuse at different rates gases diffuse at different rates so you must tell us the apparatus you must tell us the apparatus you use you must tell us the procedure. You must tell us the observation. You must tell us the conclusion. In some cases, conclusion is backed up with a graph, but not in this case. Apparatus, procedure, observation, conclusion. Conclusion may be backed up with graph work. Folks, keep on subscribing. In case of any issue, you use my Gmail. We are going to get to another topic. This one we have pushed enough. This is particulate nature of matter from one. So, you can do the rest. We shall also see another form, a different topic. But the next form one will be thermal expansion. Till then, we say bye-bye. Keep on subscribing. Give a friend also the idea that there is something you can learn from Mr. Odecho. Bye-bye.